The weather's starting to warm up, you might think it's a good time to start digging holes for flowers. Before you do, make sure the warmth is here to stay. Depending on what the weather is, sometimes people can start getting things in middle of March. Sometimes it's more towards the end of April. It just depends on what cold snap we have, how the weather does. You want to look for when that last frost date is. That's the thing to keep in mind, which around here is May 10th. With the recent rain, you need to be sure the ground isn't soaked when planting as well. It could cause your plants to not make it into the summer. If you work your ground while it's too wet yet, you're going to get a lot of clods. So you're ahead to just kind of be patient, find things you can do to keep to, to satisfy your gardening need. If the temperatures do drop, you can find remedies to make sure those plants survive a frigid burst. If you planted something outside and we're going to get a late cold snap, you can possibly throw like sheets or blankets or towels or even plastic. Plastic isn't the best, but it's better than nothing or tarps to cover them up to protect them from like a late frost. Once the warm weather is here to stay, there are other things you can do to keep the plants alive and healthy. Most people don't water thorough enough to start with. And then the other thing would be to, to pay attention to what you're planting. Like if it's a shade plant or a sun plant, look at where you're planting it and pick a plant that's appropriate for the area. These tips will set you on the right path to having a spectacular looking garden come summer.